John, first of all, welcome to Wigan Football Club. What attracted you to come alongside Pata in this management role? Um, very good question. Um, I think it was Pata, really. Um, I've been probably out of football for, what, three or four years now. Um, I've never really thought about having any intention of going back in and, and trying the coaching side of things. Um, but uh, obviously I heard Pato get the job and um, he sent me a message asking if I'd be willing to give it a go. Um, I came over, spoke to him, spoke to everyone involved um, and thought, yeah, why not? Um, spoke to uh, Neil, the chairman and things. And he's so enthusiastic and so positive about the club and, and where he wants to be with it. It, it, it was sort of a no-brainer in the end, really. Do you know what I mean? Uh, obviously, I know Pat has been here um, for a little while now, so he he knows the ins and outs and how things work. And it was just it was just the feel-good factor, really. I think um, he kind of sold it to me a little bit. Mm. Pat, you had taken charge of the side for the last week and a half. How keen were you to make that permanent? Yeah, listen, it's, 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 a, it's a fantastic opportunity. Uh, like John said, there's there's a lot of buzz around the place. And very enthusiastic. We want to, obviously, the club wants to go places. So, you know, it's a fantastic start for me in terms of management. Um, you know, and like I know that I know the club pretty well now, and you know and what it's about, and, and you know all the, where it wants to go. So, for me, again, it was probably an, an easy decision in the end when I've sat down and thought about it. John, this is your first managerial role how are you hoping to use your past experience and bring it into the club and, and help turn things around um, well I've played for enough managers to sort of uh, have enough experience and um, if I've not picked up anything from their managers then um, I've not been paying much attention over the years so I'd like to think I've uh, learned a few things um, sometimes the hard way um, but I've, like I say I've worked for a lot of good managers and I think you find each manager is a little bit different they've all got their own style and their own way of doing things so um, I think if you can take a little bit from all the good ones um, and try and apply them to, to the way we want to do things um, at Wickham then um, I think that'll be a good good way to go about it And you were introduced to the lads before the Gisborough match mm. what did you make of the group? Um, yeah, it's, it's, it was a difficult one for me personally because I've, I don't know I've, I think I knew two of the lads in the dressing room maybe so it, it, was, um, it was just a, a case of getting to know the lads and, and watching the games and, and, and hopefully I'll, I'll, going forward um, I'll be able to work with them um, on a regular basis and, and like, like Pat um, said before, the only way we can fix things is on the, on the training field. So uh, that's, that's the opportunity that we'll get to be able to do and um, I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Pat, what style of football are you hoping to, to bring into the team? So, like, we, we, everybody wants to play a good brand of football and exciting to watch, etc. You know, and, and we and we want to do that. Of course, we've got the players to do it. And um, when when the time's right, and there's going to be times when you can do it, and there's going to be times when you can't. And that's the thing about this league. You've got to be able to adapt to to your situation, and, and you know, and, and the game itself. Uh, you know, a lot, you all know that you can't play football, pretty football all the time in the Northern League. It's, it's going to be it's going to be hard. So, yes, we. I would like the lads to play more more often when it's when the opportunity's there to do so. Um, you know, and I just I want them to be a bit more comfortable on it, and and, and realise that when they're in areas they've, they actually have got time on the ball and they can and they can make that extra pass and you know and, and keep moving that opposition around. But um, you know, it's it's just it's, it's a tough one to say because like I said it's different games and you've got you've got to take that into account. Given the position the team are in at the minute, um, what are you and John hoping to implement both short term and long term this season? Yeah, you know, well, straight away we've got we've got to start picking up points. Um, you know, we've said to the lads in there today, it's a new start for us all. Um, you know, forget about what's happened in the past. Um, obviously, you've got to learn from it. Uh, and moving forward, we need to just get that belief back in the group, you know, the confidence back. And then, you know, if we if we if we can get that and we can start working on a few things, myself and John, in training and, and work on the shape and and you know not make us a bit more solid, not concede, conceding goals. Then you know, it's a start and. Um, you know, I'm looking forward to it. Uh, we've got players to come back in, key players to come back in the side that are going to make a big difference. You know, and it's about it's about me and John going away now and discussing what what we need and and and, and how we move forward. Um, but you know, I'm looking forward to the challenge. Obviously, I've give John the, the text and, and, and got him to come in, and I'm excited to work with him. And you know, I've I've played with him and I've got a lot of respect for him. So he's, I think he'll bring a lot lot to the club. John, what's your relationship like with Pat? For those that don't know. 
well, yeah, like like you just said, we played together at Gateshead, so that's basically where we we sort of met, really. Um, it's, it's, it's I'd say it's an honour, but it's 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 always nice if somebody <coughs> gets a job and they immediately think of you. Do you know what I mean? It's, it can't be a bad thing. So um, yeah, I'm I'm excited. Um, but um, like I said before, it, it's it, it's 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 on the training field where we need to we need to be able to like try and do some work and try and implement things because um, when you see the lads Saturday to Saturday or Saturday Wednesday Saturday and all you've got is games, it's really difficult to get your sort of like thoughts and, and the way you want things um, to, to pan out um, across to the lads. So like I say, we'll, we'll see what happens and we'll we'll, we'll we'll have a look at the squad. We've got players injured or ill or things like that today. Um, so it's, it's, it's a case of uh, weighing up what we've got and if we can add to it and they're available, money's available, etc., then great, um, but we're not just going to bring players in just for the sake of it if they're not going to make any improvements with our squad. What do you kind of know of the Northern League as well? Not a lot, really. If <laughs> if, I'm, if I'm brutally honest, um, I'm not going to sit here and pretend I've been um, an avid watcher of it. Um, um, I've seen I've seen bits on TV, and, and you know you know you, you see the the FA Vars and things like that. You know, like them type of games. But um, as of the Northern League, um, I haven't seen a great deal. But um, but I'm excited and um, hopefully um, the group of lads that we've got um, will take on board what we try and implement and um, we'll, we'll go from there really. Pat, one final question as well. The first official game is going to be next week at home to Rye Up. You, how, how much are you wanting that result to change the lads' fortunes around? Yes, of course. I mean, it's it's, it's an, all games are big games and, and, and every game you want to go in and get three points. So that's how we're going to be looking at it. We're not going to be looking at it as a, as a massive game because we are where we are. I've said we, we're in November and we've got, we've got a lot of games to play. So this one's just another one. We've got to go and learn from mistakes, put it right, and then we've got to, we've got to move forward. That's just the start of it for me. And we'll be trying to get three points.